I can guarantee you almost 90% of the digital marketers do not understand one particular metric that is conversion delay. And because they don't understand it, most of their optimization decisions are either wrong or they backfire. And the irony is they call themselves data driven. One reason a lot of people don't know about this particular metric is because it's different for every advertiser and in certain cases, every product. But the good news is there is a report in Google Analytics 4 where you can generate this complete report for free and that's what I'm going to show you in this video. But before building the report, I want you to understand what conversion delay means and how it basically is so important. Now imagine this, there is a particular person who comes to your website, whether either direct traffic or from a paid campaign. Now the moment they land on your website, based on the nature of the advertiser you are, there might be a delay between when they first arrive on your website and when they purchase. And in certain cases, this can be 10 days. But who waits 10 days to judge which creative is working? Who waits 10 days to see the results from A-B tests? After Andromeda, who waits so long on Meta to decide what campaign is working and what's not? And that is the biggest problem. It sounds very simple, but it's not actually. Let me show you. So this is Google Analytics of one of the websites we handle. And if we go to basically explore here you can easily create it from this one here which is full path exploration once you go here there are certain steps you need to follow and how to basically read the data the first thing you have to do is you have to remove basically all other events than what you want to check so in our case what we want to understand is for this particular website what is the conversion delay between the first time a user comes to the website when they purchase? What is the gap between that? And I'm going to tell you why is it so important, right? You can check it for any events. But, but in this case, it's an e-commerce website. Let's do between these two. Now, you need to understand one thing. Before you can see this delay, what you have to do is you have to click on show elapsed time and you have to remove any breakdowns there are so it's straightforward the two events we want to check the delay between and then remove everything else the most important thing is you always have to select at the maximum time range allowed which is uh, basically two months so i'll select this range because if you select less date then the data can be misguiding what we are seeing is from october 20th to december 19th this year what we have seen is the first time any person comes to our website and between when they make a purchase the duration is four days and 20 hours which is basically five days in certain cases now there'll be a lot of users who will come and directly buy right away they clicked on an ad they like your offer product they buy right away there might be some people who take time to decide based on the nature of the product you have maybe they need to do a bit more research maybe you are high ticket they need to wait for their salary maybe they want to check reviews of your product whatever it depends completely on the product price and you as an advertiser in our case we need to even if you're launching an a b test if you're launching a campaign after andromeda if you're launching more creatives we need to at least wait in this case four days 20 hours which is five days and a learning period time let's say three days seven days before we decide whether a creative or a campaign is working or not let's say on six days somebody purchases the product your meta will still count it because if it's on default settings one day uh, view and seven day click but the problem is you had paused the campaign you had paused the creative so that's the first message but this is where it gets more interesting. What you can also do is in the segments or dimensions, you can add, for example, in my case, in dimensions, session source. Traffic to our website comes from a lot of sources, organic, direct and uh, meta campaigns and all those. Once I added these, I can go here in the breakdowns here and I can say, show me the breakdown based on let's say session source traffic that comes from instagram they take four days but traffic that comes from facebook they take eight days on an average and if you see from google organic it's just three days in certain cases i have seen a massive difference between google traffic and paid traffic but yeah that's what it says and again i can do these are some interesting ones you can do i can do gender wise looks like in our case females take a faster decision than men and similarly, you can do, and it's not just for a performance marketing, you can overall see your product, your user behavior, etc. from this. Now, in certain cases, I have seen a huge difference between countries as well. So in our case, um, this uh, Indians take faster decisions, uh, but United States, eight days and three hours. So basically, I hope you got the idea what this all is about. So basically, this report to understand your user behavior, how they behave 
uh, purchase. You can do it for add to carts, anything. I just did first visit and purchase. And then again, it tells you at least what are the minimum days you need to wait to before decided whether a campaign is working, whether an A-B test is working, whether a particular creative is working. Don't kill creatives too soon. If here it tells me I need to wait at least let's say eight days, I need to run creatives for eight days and then decide. And that will be only fair to the ad platforms as well because the ad platform will later see that okay that creative actually generated a lot of sales but you would have already paused it go and check for your website your clients or your own brand and let me know in the comments whether you knew about it that's all for this video thank you so much and i will see you in the next one